The uterus is the thickest collection of smooth muscle in an entire female body. And uh, it consists 90 something percent of nothing but smooth muscle fibers and blood vessels with an internal lining of endometrium. Uh, as you may remember, the superior portion of the uterus is lined by a true serosa consisting of mesothelial cells or visceral peritoneum, while the lower portions and cervix of the uterus uh, do not have the luxury of having a, a serosal lining, which means you can't see or feel it when you are in there. Uh, but this suffice for now. Let's just say that these are all smooth muscle fibers. They are arranged every which way. They are arranged in whatever way it takes for the uterus to contract whenever it has to contract. We could see that it's rich in arteries and veins. Here's a nice vein. Here's a nice artery. Here's a nice artery. Here's a nice artery. Here's a small vein. Here's probably that same artery. And the rest of these cells all throughout here and here and here and here going every which way are classical smooth muscle cells. Yes, once again, you could confuse them very easily with fibroblasts, but as you know, smooth muscle will not, cytoplasm will not stain with the trichrome stain because it's not collagen. Whereas tissue like this, which looks a little bit redder and has a spindly cell, this could very easily be collagen. Whereas something like this, I can reassure you, is pure smooth muscle. A uh, picture of the uterus is no different from any picture of uh, benign uh, looking smooth muscle. As we move towards the center of the uterus, not having the luxury of seeing the serosa on this case, this entire glandular thickness here now is endometrium. Some of the endometrial glands extend into the superficial layers of myometrium, and some of them are along the surface. And the connective tissue between the endometrial glands is called stroma, whereas the connective tissue of the myometrium is just smooth muscle and collagen. And that's it for now. We'll get into the endometrium a little bit further, but let's just say this is a normal endometrium, and I thank you very much.